are taught that confession is good for the soul, and a Buffalo-born man wants to hear a confession from the Roman Catholic Church. Now, he believes a religious order within the church took from him something irreplaceable, his father. Investigative reporter Steve Brown has this Two on Your Side original. Another day begins in westernmost South Carolina. The creatures are beginning to stir. Among them, Jim Graham. This morning, Graham's back on Twitter. Every day I'm getting more followers, and it, it seems that uh, people that I'm not following are following me. The Buffalo-born 72-year-old is on the social media platform regularly with the ambitious goal of telling his life story one tweet at a time. It's hard to tell it in person. It's such a long, complicated story. So I can kind of condense my thoughts. In Twitter, you have to. And so the reader uh, will, will see the tweets, which are short and concise, but have a, a good, good picture of the whole story, which is quite involved in over seven decades. Graham's story centers on his upbringing in the 40s and 50s and his parents who divorced when he was very young. His father got custody of all three Graham children. They rarely saw their mother, Helen. The only time I would see her would be four days during Easter and four days during the summer vacation, consecutive days, and there were certain hours that she could see us. And there was 10 to 10 in the morning to 7 o'clock at night, no overnights allowed. The father, John Graham, is described as a gruff, barrel-chested man who ran a Texaco filling station near Maine and Michigan within sight of Freddy's Donuts. Jim Graham says the relationship between the two he was, was cold. With me, he, he never supported me, never said anything kind to me never played ball with me. Did that confuse you? Uh, well, I, I just thought, I thought that was just kind of a, yeah, it did confuse me, but I just thought that he was, um, you know, that was his, his, his mannerism. I mean, he, he was a little bit different with other people in the house, but with me, for some reason, there was a, uh, which I could never understand, uh, disdain. Years later at Jim's wedding, they were all there together. But in the late 70s, John Graham passed away. Helen died in the spring of 1993. It was around then that Jim Graham says he started getting wind of a rumor within the family, about the family, that there was some sort of secret that had been kept from him for decades. To find out the truth of the matter, he turned to his Aunt Catherine and Uncle Otto Graham. They lived in this house in Kenmore. The meeting was in the fall of 93, and it was not a friendly meeting. So when I went in the house, there wasn't a warm greeting. You can see that they're not happy to discuss what we're going to talk about, what the questions they're going to ask. I felt like I was an adversary in that in that environment at the day that day. You're sitting at the in the kitchen. Round table in the kitchen. Okay. Opposite them, Otto's to my left, Catherine's to my right. The first way, what happened was Catherine took this uh, out of a newsletter from the Oblate newsletter, this obituary, and she slid it across the kitchen table, and she said, "This man may have been your father. We don't know. Only the principals know, and they're all dead." In that moment, what are you thinking? I can see their caution about not wanting to confirm that he's my father, but at the same time, I just thought, I can't believe the lack of empathy that they're not saying, this must be a shock to you, and we'll support you in any way we can. But they didn't. They just sat there stoically and let me look at the obituary and didn't say a thing. Now, leaving that 1993 meeting with his aunt and uncle, Jim Graham suddenly had a mystery on his hands. The man he knew as his father for 48 years may not be his father. Instead, it may be a Catholic priest he never met. That triggered a search for answers that has now lasted almost 25 years. Tomorrow at 5.30, we continue this series with the surprising things Jim Graham discovered while digging into his own past. But if you don't want to wait, you don't have to. We have a web bonus tonight. The first three parts of this series, Seeking a Confession, is available right now on our website, WGRZ.com. Reporting in studio, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.